All right, welcome back. We are excited about this one. The American Kennel Club Dog Show is back. More than 5,000 dogs from over 20 countries will strut their stuff and compete for the top honor, best in show. And get this, you can watch it right here on WPBF 25. And we have the pleasure to be joined by Gina DiNardo and Carolyn Mano, the co-host of this year's show. They're again, they're joining us live this morning and you have a little guest with you as well. Introduce <laughs> us to Bruno. <laughs> Yeah, Bruno's eight months old, an adorable Westie who we love so much, a couch potato who has been a very good boy all morning long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Th there we go. We can see him a little bit better. He was standing up before. But let's get into the show, okay? Tell us what's unique about the 2022 National Championship. The most unique thing is it's the largest entry in our 22-year history. We had over 53 hundred dogs competing for the title of national <laughs> champion. And then we also had other events going on in the building. So that the weekend we had 10, over 10,000 dogs competing, all 200 breeds, over 22 different countries. So it's really an international event and the largest in North America. Yeah, for sure. And I'll tell you what, if they're as cute as Bruno, I'm tuning in, right? <laughs> yeah. And we know there's more than one competition. What other events are taking place? There's so much that's taking place in Orlando at the Orange County Convention Center. It's a million square feet of space, and I think we filled up just about every, every single <laughs> inch of it. A National Agility Invitational, which is one of the fastest growing dog sports in the country. There was dock diving, there was obedience, and of course the big show. I mean, there are so many sporting events outside of the national championship for dog owners and dog lovers to look forward to. And that's one of the most special things about it is it's this cross section of people that own dogs and love dogs and wanted to learn more about different breeds all coming together to Orlando for a really big week. Yeah, I love that because as you're watching, you kind of get a sense of the different type of breeds and you learn a little something about each one. So what rewards were on the line for competitors? So the national championship is one of the unique dog shows in the country and the fact that there are cash awards and the winner of best in show uh, is awarded $50,000 in uh, prize money and a year supply of Royal Canaan dog food. And so it's unique because most dog shows you get ribbons and points and trophies, but you don't get the huge cash prize. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. And we're right now we're watching some video of the different breeds of dogs and they're just so cute. And again, it's such a wide range. Which breeds were in the most in the spotlight this year? Well, in terms of the entries uh, that into the national championship, breeds like the French Bulldog, the Golden Retriever, the Labrador Retriever, they were an incredible amount of entries, as you might expect, because those breeds are some of the most popular in the United States. But what's really fun about the national championship this year in particular is that the American Kennel Club now recognizes 200 different breeds, and all those breeds were represented uh, over the course of the weekend. And so to your point exactly, Stephen, you can watch the show and you can learn about some of the breeds that you love if you love a Frenchie or a Bulldog a Golden Retriever if you have a Labrador Retriever all these breeds that people love all across America but if you want to know about a Leonberger or a Sholowitz Quintley or a Great Dane you know some of the breeds that you don't see all as often um, there's ancient breeds there's rare breeds there's something for everybody. Yeah, I, I can imagine people who don't have dogs can really live through this show, right? I don't have one, but I just love watching them. So tell us when and where we can go to watch the show, lastly. 2 p.m. Eastern on New Year's Day, ABC. We're going to be broadcast nationally all across the country. Bruno's going to be there. <laughs> we hope that you're there, too. <laughs> Absolutely. We thank you all so much for joining us. And Bruno, so well behaved. He showed his face <laughs> a little later in the interview. We really appreciate you all being here, taking time out with us. And again, for you at home, you can watch the dog show right here on WPBF 25. That's at 2 o'clock and on New Year's Day. Sandra.